Today we are going to take a look at this case which might be interesting for those that are looking to get a Nash or a server but do not want to purchase something ready made, want to build their own server because you already have the hardware available and you want to take advantage of it or because you want to select every single component on your setup. I will leave links down below for all the components that I'm using right over here as a suggestion, including the seven Toshiba N300 eight terabytes each and two Toshiba N300 14 terabytes each. But the beauty of this build is that I can select every single component and I don't need to put nine disks at one time. I can start with one and then grow according to my needs. And if you are watching this video on your Windows 10 or 11 computer and you still haven't activated and can't even edit your desktop icons, don't forget to check out cdksales.com where we can find budget official OEM keys at an affordable price. And with the coupon code that you can see on screen and down below on the video description, it will get even cheaper. And besides Windows 11 Pro, if you are looking for Windows 10 or even an office suit that we can aggregate directly to our Microsoft account, you can use the same coupon code, which will give you the best price possible at this moment. So just in case, the link will be down below. So the case is the Antec P101 Silent. It's not a new case, but it remains one of my favorites for those that want something that we can grow as required. It has a minimalistic design, all in black and very robust. It weights 12 kilos more or less, while it's empty. At this moment, I've got these components plus nine hard drives at an average of 500 grams each hard drive. You are talking about 4.5 kilos, so 16.5 kilograms at this moment, which is quite heavy. It features acoustic coating on the front panel, also at the top and on both sides, which is great to absorb almost all the sound that we will get out of it, especially hard drives if you are getting noisy hard drives. I don't complain about the Toshiba N300 and I've been using them for years. I will try to leave some links down below, but there is always some noise on the mechanical hard drives and these will dampen some. Now at the back, there is no protection. It's the only part that we will not have that acoustic foam. It comes with four fans, 140 mils each. Three are here at the front, which is great. It will push air and the first thing that it will uh, refresh is the hard drives. And then we also have one at the back and we can place in more at the top, which for this setup, I don't feel the need. This is more than enough. The dust filter is really easy to remove, clean it up. On the top, it has four USB ports, audio connection, and a manual fan speed control, just in case we want to control it manually, but we can control with our motherboard as well. And then it has buttons for power and reset. It can accommodate eight terab, it can take up to eight 3.5 inch hard drives. It has two 2.5 inch slots at the back and it has a 5.25 inches for CD-ROM or optical drive. Now, what I did in this particular setup, I did use the eight slots right over here for 3.5 inches. And then here at the top, and I will try to leave the link down below, I did purchase an accessory that will fit in a 3.5 inch hard drive on a 5.25 inch bay, which is just awesome. So nine hard drives at this moment. And if we have a 3D printer, I believe that we can use this space right over here and build something to put another one, making 10 hard drives on this case, which is awesome. But without modifications, nine 3.5 inches base is what we will get. Now I did use in my setup seven Toshiba N300 eight terabytes each and two Toshiba N300 14 terabytes each, making a total of 84 terabytes on this server. It supports ATX, Micro ATX and Mini ATX boards. In this setup, I didn't include a GPU, but as we can see, there is enough room, not for those large GPUs, but for a regular one. Down below, you can see the specifications with details in terms of measurements. For the hardware, I did repurpose one of my ASUS motherboards that I had available. It has only an i3 CPU and eight or 16 gigabytes of RAM. But at any moment, the beauty is that I can upgrade the hardware that I've got right over here. And in your case, if you are building from scratch, 
then you get the chance to select every single component that you want and you don't need to go the same route that I've got right over here. So if you need more power, you can put in an i7 or a 99, or if you need less power, you can go for an i3 like I've got right over here. Operating system wise, I'm using True Nash and I did share a video a few weeks ago, so I'll leave a link down below just in case you never tried True Nash. You will be able to see how easy it is to install on any computer, including this one right over here. Now, there is one thing to have in consideration when building our machine instead of purchasing one of those mini NAS or mini home lab computers. I will leave links down below so that you can check out what I'm talking about, which is the power consumption. Now, this particular setup is consuming roughly 85 watts per hour while having everything connected and using the computer normally with normal tasks without pushing it too much. So in terms of using the computer normally without pushing it too much, 85 watts is what we expect in terms of average. When we boot up 120 and if I'm doing any aggressive task, then it will rump up to the 120, 140 maximum. But in average, 85, I would say that this is the average. Now, this means that it will spend 2 kilowatts per day, 60 kilowatts per month, 720 per year. Now, where I live, we purchase a kilowatt for 20 cents, more or less, with taxes and so on and so forth, which means that this costs me 144 euros per year to have it 24-7 on. And here, the only caution that we need is to have in mind what we will be using this for. If it's only for home assistant and to keep my pictures, then there are a lot of solutions. I'll leave some links down below where we will find devices that will spend 5 watts, 10 watts per hour compared to the 85, which is huge. Now, if we really need all this storage and if we need the extra power that we can get out of a system like this then it's totally worth it if not there are other suggestions we have seen some right over here which are really cool this size we have seen plenty and with that said hope that you enjoyed the video and if you did so don't forget the usual thumbs up right over there which is really appreciated on this side of the screen my name is Huerto George and as always I'll see you on the next one